Hey, what's up? Back again. First base note hit me in the chest, and I was just like, there's no way that's too late. MB Enclosures it has his own YouTube channel, and this guy is an animal when it comes to designing boxes. And hey, what's up? It's your boy MB, back with part number five of this unboxing of Jail Audio Sub. You would think, it's MB, you must sell them jokers. No, I don't sell them. I'm just reviewing them. <laughs> I'm just reviewing them, man. I keep it fair. I keep it a buck, you know. What's what? It is what it is, man. You come in for truth. Let's get to this basket, man. And this basket. I was wondering how this is going to seal with the cutout. How it's going to seal this enclosure. I mean, seal this sub to the box if you ain't using the surround with the mountain gasket. What do you thought about that, too? You know, most people use eight screws to screw in their uh, basket. Can you see that right there, y'all? Let me get a little closer, y'all. Y'all see it? Well, maybe you can see it better. I'll just show you this. Let's slide this in here. First of all, since they're not using a rubber mountain gasket, they give you your own gasket. So you would set this. They conveniently provided you the hole. You set this on top of the hole and then set your screws in. This particularly help you guys that like to use T-nuts. If you use this template and there's gaskets, you can get your T-nuts exactly where you want to be at to position this driver in. The thing with it is, you can't use no other drivers with it because this is part to it to a basket. Another point of this feature, this is part to it to a basket. And if you notice that from the spider landing to where the surround is, I mean, to where the cone is, this substantial. And it actually used what another manufacturer that uh, commented, uh, was telling y'all somebody and beat it by putting the, by increasing the basket height, you're able to contribute to controlling the linearity because you're gonna have two points that you're gonna connect. The, uh, the cone and the spider by making it longer. But in actuality, if you look at that design, he didn't do that though. He did what most people do, which is typical. They take the cone, take it to the spider, and the spider to the form, and they call that the triple joint. And that's what most things fail at that point because they put it all together, and some don't even use a ring. They just use it to be the glue on the inside and the outside on top of the spider. Let me let you see what JL do. Stand around. Let me turn this camera around right quick. Okay, two things we're going to look at while we're on the other side of this wolf. First thing is, remember I told you that most people have a triple joint. The triple joint is the cone, the surround, no, the cone, the spider, and the former coming together as three pieces, as a triple joint. Well, there's two manufacturers that don't know and use that, and JL is one of them. And when this enables them to get a greater X-Max from the top piece. And they don't have a triple joint. What they actually have, I guess you could call a double joint. Because what they use is a collar. If you see right here, put my finger right there. I like this open air design, this basket, partoratory basket. This collar is the former. This is the former. And as you can see, the former has holes on it. It also has holes right at the top plate. There's holes up and down this former to aid in getting the air on the inside of the voice core. But what I want you to pay attention to is this collar. This collar is machine etched. So it has real fine lines so that the adhesive will take properly to the former and you won't have any separation at the, what most, what most people would call the triple joint, but actually it's, it's just a double joint because it's only this spider and this former coming together. But in actuality, you could technically call it a triple joint because the J Audio AW7 utilizes two spider. You see one, but there's another spider land on this basket right below, starting right here. But this is technically at the triple joint, or technical joint, this double joint, whatever you want to call it, is reinforced as laser etched so that they can get more of the adhesive, more surface area for a tighter bond. They also do the same thing. You have a collar here, if you look, and zoom in on the video so you can see where the cone and the former takes place again. And there's a space between this two. I know y'all, hey man, the uh, such and such does the same thing. Exactly. 
the big four, the big three manufacturers, they've been doing this for a long time. So you know the benefits of separating the cone from the spider and giving you more ex-mechanical, which actually give you a little bit more output. Now, another thing I want you to look at when you look at this basket is at the bottom, and this is what they call the elevated platform cooling, which is commonly used today, they call it spacers. They put spacers on the basket. Well, that's because they use an open source basket and then they get some what I would call nuts and put it together. Spacers, because they can't afford what somebody like JL can do. And what that is, is they manufacture their frame. They mm. manufacture the frame on their driver with the uh, raised, uh, what do you call these, legs into the basket so that you get these slits all around the bottom of the basket. That, with the shape of the basket on the inside, forces air directly on the voice coil with the pumping action of the piston. A cooling feature, besides this open air design, with air with holes here. You see the holes there on the form itself to give air on the inside of the voice coil. I wish we could see the windings on the voice coil, but the voice coil is listed to have 19 millimeters of x max 19 millimeters of X-Max. So I took the liberty, I wanted to measure Hello, we'll turn this camera. Well, maybe we'll turn this camera back around. I wanted to measure exactly. Let's see if I can do it here. Turn this on. And let me show you. Let's measure this right here now so you can see. From the top, the, from the top of the spot of landing to the top of the top plate, and I'm judging it by eye roughly, I'm getting 39 meters. So plus or minus one, let's say 38. Uh, Y'all see what I see, okay? Now, the x mass listed on this driver, let's turn this counter back around. So we got 19 millimeters here from the top plate, from the, from the spider landing, from the top spider to the top plate, which justifies us having 19 millimeters of X-Max. So if 19 millimeters of X-Max is this, let me show you 19 millimeters. Uh, that's 19 millimeters. That means this driver can go forward 19 and back 19 from here. Back 19, forward 19. Back 19, forward 19. Well, even when it goes back 19, we still have an additional 19 millimeters of clearance because we have 38 millimeters from the top of the spider landing to the top of the top plate. Hmm. But we're getting gain even more ace mechanical. Well, no, not gain even more ace mechanical. What I was told by the manufacturer, the reason why this is done is so that you don't have the cone limiting you using your full excursion on your surround. Ooh, I'm going to poke that. By having it connected to the triple joint. Let me turn the camera back around. So, I've showed you the distance from the spot of landing to the top plate is 38. The list of the X Max is, nine, is 19. Totally believable. Totally believable. I wonder what that's mechanical is. Is it twice of the 38? Or is it a half of the... No, it can't be. I wonder. I just wonder what it is. But we got plenty of room for a throw. Oh, there's another thing I wanted to show y'all on this woofer. Hold on. Let me turn this camera around one more time. Yes, this is what I wanted to show you. I, you've noticed that there's no tensile lead sold into the spider. But it has speaker lead connections. And what JL uses is called a lead wire system. See, JL Audio says that if you put the tensile leads inside the, 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 the spider itself, then you limit the elasticity of the surround. Be and if you're not limited, then you've accounted for it by putting, you know, some put the, the leads in over the top. It, it's, it's very common. Pretty much in every flat and audio company do today, they tell you how thick their tensile leads are and how they sold them on top of the... Uh, on the suspider, so and the glue they use, and the blah 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 blah, whatever you want to say, it starts from slapping of the cone against the the, the tensile leads. Well, J. L. accounted for that with the geometrical shape, <laughs> with their lead wire system. As you can see, the tensile leads jump from the terminal connections right to the voice cord. Now, what I want you to see is that there is no possible way. There you go. That's a good shot. As the cone moves back and forth, that lead wire stretches down. I moved it. Man, they has plenty of clearance never, ever to hit that cone. 
And by doing this jumping system, we have the lead wire system, this lead wire system, by utilizing that, there's nothing inside the spider to limit it from forming its function, which is keeping the voice coil linear over the pole piece. Ain't that ingenious? That's, oh, that's a, that's a patent design. They said, why a lot of more the manufacturers, why are not a lot of other manufacturers using it? It's costly. It's costly. A lot of features I've shown you in this Wolf is driver justifies the $700 price tag because you see these, the, the triple joint, the collar at the, uh, the collar at the spider in the former, the collar at the cone in the former, the lead wire system, the, 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 the engineer basket, the overall surround, all these things cost. They're not open source. They're not really available. It's a manufacturing process, but each and every last one of these comp components leads to why this woofer was ahead of the curve 22 years ago. Let me turn this camera back around. So, I've showed you the former. I've showed you the connection of the former and the spider and the cone and why. I've showed you why they, how they use their tensile leads inside the lead wire system. The part to a basket. The mounting seal says you can seal it securely, the basket, to the, the mounting baffle. I've also showed you the part to a basket. The cooling of the, of the basket is open source design 22 years ago. And we still ain't got to the motor. Stay tuned.